Hello Builder, welcome to the tutorial on how to connect your domain and then create your custom email and verify your email address. My name is Jackie de Clark, I'm your success coach and in the next few minutes I'm going to show you step by step on how to make sure that everything is connected correctly and you can start using your domain. So here we are on the domain and email manager dashboard. So we are going to click on the connect domain. We're going to type in the domain name. In this case, I'm using builderalltestingdomain.com. I'm going to click connect domain. And then it's going to ask you to go and change the name server. Now, it depends on where you've purchased it. If it's from Namecheap, GoDaddy, or any of those hosting providers, you will need to go there, log into the account, and then change the name servers to the following. We've got name server one and two and IP one and two. Some of them, some of these service providers is going to ask you for the IP address as well. Some of them don't. So if you do not see it, don't be, don't be concerned. Just make sure that you copy in the name servers as it is and rather click on the button than to try and copying it like this because you might be copying spaces or anything so it is best to go and click on it and once you've done that you're going to click on continue now that it's gone through you're going to see that we've got the arrows already connected now you might not see it exactly and immediately because sometimes it will take up to 48 hours to propagate on the internet and it will show maybe a gray button or even a yellow button. But the moment that it's been verified, it's going to show these two little icons and it will be in blue. Now, this does not mean that you can use your domain inside of Mailing Boss because you still need to go and create your custom email as well as making sure that it has been verified. The next step is to go to Mailing Boss and actually get the domain added into Mailing Boss. So you're gonna go to Tools, Mailing Boss. It's gonna look like this. The very first need you do is to go to Settings on the left-hand side and you're gonna go way down to Company and you're gonna add your company details that is connected to this specific domain because you are going to need that domain uh, a company domain name once you are going to connect it now so right it says create a new domain and it's going to ask you immediately for that company name and then you're going to add in the domain name and once you're done you're going to, going to click yes save now it's going to bring up a block that's going to ask you to go and add the details but i don't want you to be concerned about that block you can just literally close it As you can see, this is the block that comes up. Sometimes there might be information in food, sometimes they might not. It might even not even come up and it's just gonna ask you to add a sender email. But for this example, we are just gonna click on the cross. And now it says, do you want to add a sender for the above domain? You can go click yes, add. I'm gonna say no thanks because I wanna show you the proper way of getting it connected um, and you know where to go to if you need to verify it. I'm gonna click no thanks. Now you can see that the domain has been verified as well as the SSL. Sometimes again, this must might take some time and you're not gonna see it immediately, but just give it some time. Now we are going to move from Mailing Boss because we've already verified it. The domain's verified, SSL is active, and we're gonna go back to the domain and email manager because now we want to go and create that custom email and get it verified. So you can see we've got the domain right there and there's a little envelope. We're going to click on that envelope and we're going to click add email. So we need to add in the details of the email that we want to use. In this case, we are making use of info at border testing domain and we're going to click on save. Now it's giving us two messages. One that says congratulations, that it's busy on the system and it might take up to 10 minutes to propagate. It also give you a message at the top. Now you just need to wait a few moments and this little icon here is currently getting the information. So it depends on how many people are actually registering at the moment and how busy the servers are. But sometimes this is quite quick and it will change from a yellow icon to a red icon. Now you can see that the red icon is right there. Now, sometimes you will need to go to your email to get your email verified. 
But if you follow this process and you just click on this button, it is automatically going to verify your email for you inside of your email sender in Rayloop or in webmail. Now to do that, you would have to access the email manually by going to this area. And I'm going to show you how that works in just a moment. But for now, we just really need to click on it and then it has been verified automatically. If this process is not working immediately, you can always go and click on access email and it's going to open up your email. You'll see there at the top webmail at Bulldog Testing Domain. You're going to type in your email and password and there will be a message to go and click on to go and verify that email. But in this case, because it's already been verified, you don't really need to do anything further than here. Now let's go back to Mailing Boss. And right here in Mailing Boss, we've already done that section. We're going to go to the sender emails. And you're going to see that the sender email is now verified. And that is all that you need to do. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. You are now ready to use your domain as well as your custom email that has been verified inside of Mailing Boss and everywhere else on the platform. I'll see you later. Bye, builders.